142. Calculate the equilibrium constant at 25 degrees Celsius for each of the following reactions from the value of delta G notch given. Okay, so we have H2 gas, hydrogen gas, plus iodine get a solid, right? I2S yields 2 HI gas, and they gave us that Gibbs free energy, the delta G, 3.4 kilojoules. Now, in this case, we're trying to solve for that equilibrium constant. Keep in mind that the equilibrium constant is always that capital K value, right? Now, they didn't say specifically what K we're searching for. There's so many of them, right? We have Ka, Kb, Kc, Keq. Chances are we're looking for a Kp here, P for pressure, because I do see that I have a gas here. But it doesn't matter, because there's only one formula that links an equilibrium constant with the delta G value. Now, there's two variations depending on which one you're solving for, but since we're solving for the equilibrium constant, it's best to memorize the formula as this. K equals the E button on the calculator, all raised to the negative delta G notch over R times T. Now, they didn't give me the R value. That's because it's a constant number. Chances are you're going to have to memorize it for your test or quiz. The R value is 8.314. Now, if you're using 8.314, the units are joules per mole times Kelvin. So these are the units that we have to watch out for when we're plugging in our other variables. So for example, since the R value is in Kelvin, and they gave me the temperature in Celsius, I just have to quickly convert this 25 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. But we know from Celsius to Kelvin, right, that's plus 273. More specifically, if you want to add uh, 273.15, that's fine with me. That's what I'll do. And 25 degrees is room temp. So when you add the two numbers together, you get 298, 298.15 Kelvin. And that's the number that's going to go in for your temperature. Now, since the R value is in joules, my Gibbs free energy has to also be in joules as well. But they gave me kilojoules. But also, that's okay, because I could just quickly convert from kilojoules to joules. And kilojoules to joules, we just multiply by 1,000, or take that decimal and move it to the right three spots. So it looks like this will be 3,400 joules, and that's the number that's going on in here. Solving for K, E is in the, uh, e is in the calculator. So let's just plug it on in. We got K equals E all raised to the negative. Let's see what we got. We got 3,400 on the top. And then we have the two values on the bottom. So we have the 8.314. 8.314. And then times it by 298.15. I would clean this up first in the calculator before I take the value and raise it with that E number. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say K equals E raised to some number. Let's just simplify what that number is. So I'm going to say negative 3,400, 3,400 divided by 8.314. Now, since I'm using no uh, parentheses here, and I want to get that 298.15 in the denominator, I'm going to have to press divide again, just so that the calculator understands what I'm doing. Okay, so there's the overall answer. So I'm going to take now the E and raise it to the negative 1.3716 and a lot of other numbers. Keep in mind that since this is not the final answer, don't round it. So when you actually do the calculation, take the full number that you get. And then we're going to find that equilibrium constant. So I'm going to say second ln. The E button is the inverse of the natural log, which is ln. And I'm going to grab the whole number, press enter. This is why I love the TI-84. It just makes it so easy. And there you go. Now for sig fig purposes. I had a lot of sig figs going on in my... Uh, Kelvin value, but I only had two starting off with my delta G. So my equilibrium constant should be two sig figs, 0 0.25. No units for your equilibrium constant, so it's just 0.25. And that's it for this one. What do you think? 
Thanks so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Please let me know if this is helping you guys out. I just want to make sure that we're, we're giving you great educational content. And I love talking to you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Keep studying hard. Good luck on your tests. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.